I'm Ryan Ferguson. I'm a vehicle integration engineer for uh, Ford Motor Company on the Super Duty applications. We're here at MPG to, this morning. Um, we're going out in all the off-road courses. Uh, we have sand pit, we have a twist stitch, we have rock crawling, we have uh, an off-road trail, a uh, nice loop uh, with mud and ruts and uh, water. And that's what we're gonna be doing today and get you out in nature. So we'll have you uh, buckle in, which you're already doing. We'll have you turn the lights on and start it up first, obviously. We'll have you set your lights, your mirrors, and your seat, and get all comfortable. Lights on, you said? Yep. One more. There you go. Yeah. So now they're on. So now, uh, as long as you're comfortable, we're ready to, to drive. Yeah. Do we have to set up anything? We'll do that in a moment. So oh, you can go okay. ahead and clear that. We'll just stay in normal mode, and then uh, we'll show you off the features okay. when we get to the trail. So we'll do the uh, the loop first, if you if you want. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and uh, go to straight down, kind of the way you came in there. So we have a, a trail uh, that'll be on the right, about a mile mile down the road or so. You passed it when you came in. So what part of the program are you responsible for? I'm vehicle integration, so we kind of work on a little bit of everything. Uh, we're very much a systems level team, um, so we bring in the uh, attribute teams, uh, cross-functional teams, and to solve problems, uh, brainstorm, etc. right? Yeah. Um, and make sure that the uh, customers is getting kind of what they expect, right? So we're kind of the... Um, the final line between engineering and then the customer, right? So we evaluate the vehicles fairly regularly uh, for software, for handling, performance, um, just to make sure everything's good to go. And if they're not, then we bring in the appropriate team members for whatever uh, issue there may be. Um, and then we, you know, we hash it out. Come meetings. up with a solution. Right, yep. We bring up solutions, whether it's through just talking or uh, test planning or vehicles, right? So we have a fleet of about 100 vehicles that we loan out to these attribute team teams. Have you slowed down here? We're gonna take this right, oh, the flag. Nice. So it's a fun job. It's very much, uh, we're very in tune with the You work here? here. I do know. We come up here fairly often. So oh, I'll have okay. you stop for a moment. Oh. We'll go ahead and set the drive mode first. So we'll go ahead and That's turn. That's natural? Uh, oh, nope, not for, not for right now. So go ahead and turn that dial. Which way? We're gonna turn it clockwise. We're gonna hit it one more. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, one back. I went too far. So, yep, this is gonna be our off-road mode. Okay. So this is gonna, it's kind of a, um, a set it and forget it. Um, it will turn the tracks control off, turn four high on, and then it uh, oh, okay. turns on the e-locker. We're gonna actually have you turn off the e-locker. It gives you a little bit more of a challenge. Um, there's nothing on this trail that you would really need an e-locker yeah, okay. for, so make it so it's a little bit more fun for you. We have the cameras here, which you can go ahead and start driving. And the, the cameras uh, always come out when it's on, on off-road mode. That's right. So off-road and, and uh, rock crawl mode have the cameras. They go up to V max, which is the vehicle max speed, so they will never shut off, which is nice. Oh yeah. Uh, in the other drive modes, right, they'll default off so that you're not distracted, like on the highway or something. Right? So this is the tremor is the, uh, version. What in in which uh, power train is a uh, tremor available? Yeah. So this is the tremor, correct? This is the six seven high output. So you have five hundred horsepower and twelve hundred foot pounds of torque. Take this to the left, and we're going to hit the grassy moguls here. Have you done much off-roading before? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here's our first obstacle here. Um, call them the moguls. And they're just kind of large hills and uh, descents here. And then I want to give you the freedom to kind of drive how you want, but there will be uh, some certain areas of the course where I'll kind of demonstrate some of the technology no, that we yeah, have yeah, for yeah. off-road. But yeah, we want you to have fun. So The cameras have different views? Yes, this, yeah, so I'll change those for you. So we have the front view, which I find is the most useful on yeah. the trails, right? Uh, we have 360, which is the same view here, but you have oh, a top-down okay. view here. Um, we'll get to them more in the rock crawl mode, but this is a front tire left and right okay. view, so you can kind of navigate around rocks, etc. And then we also have a rear one as well to show off the rear, okay, so yeah. similarly. I think the one with the one in the side and the front is like yep. the... Okay. I think I like the best because you've seen both things, yeah. Absolutely. 
Yeah, this one's really great, especially when you're going up hills and don't know where you have to go next. Yeah. Um, you can kind of be able to see ahead of time so you know if you turn left, right, if it's an obstacle. And then uh, coming up here, I'll have you stop for a second. So let's, let's go ahead and clear that cluster icon. So you can see on the left that we have the, uh, the off-road indicator. There's also additional, we go down, we have the various gauges, but we also have the off-road status gauges. So this shows your your, your uh, tire pressure, right? It shows your powertrain, showing that we're in four by four. And then similarly to what you have on the left, it's just kind of a duplicate. It'll show your steering angle, your approach and departure angles as well, and then your uh, your lateral angle. So when we go up some hills, you'll see that a little bit more clearly. Interesting, yeah? yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so the first couple days it was it was dry, um, yeah. but this is how the trail is a little bit more normally. It's been a very dry yeah. uh, couple weeks for us. So the rain was a uh, sight for sore eyes because it makes it a little more fun, a little more slip and slide and a little tougher. <laughs> so what are the characteristics of the tremor levels? What, what makes it different from other? So versions. yeah, yeah. So the Tremor comes with 35-inch tires on 18-inch wheels, right? You're not going to see that on any other Super Duty, but the Tremors, right? Yeah. The, for example, the XL Off Roader is 33-inch tires on 17-inch mm -hmm. wheels. Yeah. So it's more of kind of a cheap and cheerful option um, as compared to this, which is more of the uh, the enthusiast's truck, right? Yeah. Or the uh, truck you would take out into the woods to haul your toys. Um, and then uh, we have an increased ride height. It has a specific tremor uh, front air dam, so it's a shortened air dam to kind of avoid uh, buckling that in over any you know, hills or anything like that um, when you're approaching them. Uh, skid plates and that yep, kind of thing. It has skid plates um, over the fuel tank and over the transfer case, or I guess under them rather. Um, then we also have uh, increased uh, length vent tubes uh, for the axle and transmission. Um, which allows you to have about, I believe, 33 inches of water port without having to worry about um, getting um, water or any debris in your in your uh, driveline components yeah. via the vent tube. What about the interior? Or also, any differences there? Uh, no major differences on interior. Um, this is a platinum truck, so it's very similar to um, our other platinum trucks in just a regular yeah. configuration. We do have a couple of features that are exclusive to Tremor that change a little bit of it. So we have trail to trail control up here oh, okay. to the right, and we have trail turn assist um, in the middle knob there. And then we do have an e-locker in this, but uh, so many of our other, like our FX4, and then our uh, XL off-roaders also come with an e-locker as well for the rear. So this tremor level is more for people who have more fun than go to work, right? Right. So the X, yeah, the XL off roader is kind of the uh, the woodsman, the tradesman, yeah. um, forestry, right? Kind of the cheap and cheerful um, to get you out into the woods here. So I'm gonna have you stop right about here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and activate the trail turn. So we see we have a tight right turn here. And if you don't activate so just that, push? yep, just push, and you'll see a little indicator in the bottom left. Oh, just push it. Yep, you don't need to hold it. Oh. Yep. So it's on. You see the indicator to the bottom left. Let me go ahead and have you do a full lock to the right, and just uh, don't move yet. But you'll see the indicator turn green. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. A little bit more. Yep, oh, you get you're kind of some rut. Right? Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. There you go. So you feel it in the yeah, pedal too, I, right? I felt it, yeah. So that's basically what that's gonna do. Um, is it's going to lock your inside wheel, so we're turning uh, clockwise, right? So it's going to lock this wheel, and it's still going to supply power to your other three wheels, and it's going to make slide that a, a little bit. Yeah, it's going to make that a pivot point, right? Oh, so okay. we'll go ahead and have you start turning now. You don't, you don't need to give it too much gas, right? You'll you'll kind of feel some resistance, but just give enough to be able to kind of make it around this turn here. 
Perfect. And then you can go ahead and release your angle a little bit. Yep, just like that. Wow. So otherwise you would probably have to make a three point turn there in order yeah. to get this long truck out there. So it's not uh, rear uh, axle steering, but more like it holds it in place so you can move it around. Precisely, okay. exactly, yep. So yeah, it uses the uh, anti-lock brake system, right? Locks that, call it just the passenger rear wheel for that instance, right? And then uses that as a pivot point. We'll turn that off so you don't get into it anymore. Uh, at oh, least okay. not right now. There are a couple other opportunities we'll look at to use that. Um, it does have, so it's under full lock, but it also has a little, it engages a little bit after full, or before full lock as well. So you won't see it on, you know, if you're doing some windy, you could leave it on in theory, but uh -huh. just in case we end up coming up to a sharp turn, which we wouldn't on this trail, um, you know, you, that, that way you don't risk uh, activating that feature when you're not intending to use it. Okay. Is the heads-up display bigger in this uh, version or is just like, I don't know why, I've it seen changes. more information. So we have, yeah, we have three different HUD layouts. So I can oh, show you I those see. if you want. So okay, this is okay. the, I just make sure here. I think this is the off-road yeah, version. Yeah, because we were you're in seeing the, the steering angles yeah, and everything. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. It's the off-road mode. So it automatically defaults to that. Um, depending on your drive mode. So we have off-road, right? Which it'll stay up there for rock crawl as well. And then we have the towing view and then just normal. Oh, I see. So they have a couple of different varieties or different flavors of HUD that you can have. And don't worry about jostling me too much. <laughs> I enjoy the ride, so. You don't get car seat? No, not in the front at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the back maybe too much. Uh, yeah, the back's a little more question. So if I can, I'll take this opportunity to teach you a little bit about two foot driving. Okay. Might be a little bit weird for you at uh -huh. first, but we'll, I'm going to challenge you. Keep your left, or I'm sorry, your right foot on the pedal and your left foot you're going to use for braking okay. from now on. That'll come in and uh, play on some of these bumps where when you crest the bump, and you don't really have to do it on these ones because they're so small, right? But when you just crest that bump, if you apply a little bit of braking, Kind of softens the blow oh uh, so like yeah. not, no, yep. it's like uh you do it like just gently right before you're about to make yeah. impact or uh, and it'll, that'll come into play on the rocks when we get to that portion so we are going to have you after this uh little mud pit here we're going to have you take this course to the right here so follow that up and this is going to take us to the hill descent okay and then another cool feature about the um, off-road modes, not only does it do the camera to up to max speed, but yeah. it also allows you to do that two-pedal braking. It will have you pull up to the hill and then stop. So you can just go up a little bit more, just past the sign. It'll be perfect. Um, but it also allows you to be able to do both pedal and brake at the same time. Go ahead and stop for me here. What's so, the angle, descent angle here, more or less? We'll, we'll see. Oh, it'll it tell yeah, us, yeah. It'll tell us. So yeah, so the, like if you have it in normal mode or most of your vehicles, right, when you're hitting the accelerator and you hit the brake at the same time, it yeah. kind of puts you in a low power state, right? And it'll, it'll chime yeah. at you, say, low power mode activated, because you're doing, you know, something that you shouldn't be doing at the same time, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. In the off-road modes, we turn that off, so you're able to do the braking and the power, because you kind of need that extra little bit of t uh, technique to yeah. be able to navigate some of these. So what we'll do here, uh, we have trail control here, so I'll go ahead and activate it for you. So this is basically cruise control. But for for off-roading. Yep. So it's a little bit different than the cruise control you're used to. Yeah. Um, so you can set it, I believe it's max of 20. I could be a little bit 20 miles per go, hour? Yeah, it might go a little bit higher than that, but um, I'll have to confirm that. But So what we can have you do is we'll set it to about 4 miles per hour. And it's... Uh, on left side. Oh. Yep. And you just keep oh, your here. foot on the brake. Yep. Yeah. So... Um, what this also has, um, so this is trail control unique to Tremor. Yeah. It also has hill descent uh, bundled into it, so it's kind of a two-in-one feature. Um, so we'll show you some more trail control uh, elsewhere, but for this, it'll automatically do your braking and your pedal for you. So whether we're going up a hill or down a hill, right, you should be able to put your feet on the floor right now and have it walk down. So no, you got to hold on to <laughs> so keep it straight. Yeah. Yep, but you don't have to worry about any of your pedals. It's controlling right? up it's to controlling five. controlling us going down. And it looks like we got up to 23 yeah. degrees, but I oh, think yeah. it's more like 31 actually. Yeah, at the, at at the, the, very, at the very top, yep, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yep, so it just walks you right down the hill. So it looks like we're clear. So 
We'll show off a little bit more trail control later, but let's go to that cone over there, or that one you can pick if you've got free rain right now. So uh, what I'm gonna challenge you to do on this, right? We got four high on, we got our uh, traction control off. Try to just do a donut around this cone, like, and keep it as close as you can to the cone as possible. Like, I like a certain speed, I guess. You yeah, need a little power. Comfortable. You don't need to go too fast, right? Very close, I guess. right? Yeah. Yep. So let's have you do. Let's have you get a little bit closer to it. Slow, slow up a little bit. We'll have you do fast and slow, yeah. right? To show you the kind of. So yeah, just kind of butt up to it, and then just do just do enough power to kind of slowly take you around there. Right here. Perfect. Start your turn. Yeah. Yep. Just enough power. Perfect. Yep. It's full lock and. Yeah, we're kind of really far from the cone. Yeah. So let's have you go in that same line that you were just at, right about here. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and turn trail turn on again. So it's the middle button, yep, just like that. And we'll have you full lock. Do the same thing. You don't need to go too fast with it, right? Um, so go ahead and, yep. That's it? Yeah, you go ahead and start rolling and it'll activate. Okay. Right? Oh, I see. You're, you're probably in a rut right now. Yeah. So it's, it's just like again that. Yep. pivoting on the, on the right yep. rear. So you're, uh, I can actually. Well, yeah, yeah. Can you see it right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, much closer. Yeah. Half, half the distance, I would say. At yeah, least. exactly. Wow. Yeah, you can do something like that, and you go a little faster, right? So you kind of see how it performs. Yeah. Wow. We do a 180 here. Oh, just whip it around, yep. Yeah, just like that. All right, we're gonna go up to here. So I'll have you stop just shy of the rocks. And uh, we're gonna aim, see those uh, two rocks on the left there, those big ones? We're gonna aim to put our tires right on those. So like in between this, or? Nope, right, right on this guy. Oh, from this one. Yep, just like that. So that's where these, lines oh, are helpful so that. stop for a second yeah so let's go ahead and turn that dial again we're going to go into um clear that for you we're going to go into rock crawl mode so one more clockwise yep and oh, then it's oh, going to oh. ask you to shift into neutral and then it's going to shift for you so now this is our other drive mode like i said set it and forget it okay so this one uh turns off traction control turns on four low and then puts on your e-locker so this is where your two pedal braking oh, yeah. is gonna come in handy, right? So what you basically wanna keep a little tiny bit of pressure on the brake, and that'll help um, when you drop in. And then pack it, it softer, and, yeah. and you might have to press it a little bit more. And it, okay. it'll take some finesse, right? But you'll get it done. And we oh. don't really need to do too much power, right? We're not trying to do wheel strip yeah. slip. We're trying to get as much traction as possible going up. So go ahead. And Dan will help guide you, so just follow his uh, inputs. Okay. Okay. Make sure you like, get it. Oops. Oh. Too much power. What's well, the truck's fault? It's 500 horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Here. So go a little bit left. Turn it back to uh, off-road mode, which is the dial turn. Oh. Just one one option to the left, one more. Uh, Sorry, that comes on because we turned it off. Off-road. Yep. Off-road. Yep, and then it'll ask you to do neutral again. And just go back into four high here. Yep, just like that. And you can go ahead and turn right. And you have the trail turn on as well. I'm sorry, you have your e-locker on, which is fine. Yep, we're taking this guy down. Well, all right, we'll have to go straight here. And then we're going to take the sharp left, just follow the trail. 
kind of switch out of the road. And then we'll have you take a right. And we'll stage the truck back up. So what do you think? Amazing. I mean, it's just so easy when, I mean, obviously you have to learn right. what all the options that you have and all that kind of thing. But once you figure that out, it's like super easy because it does all the thinking for you, right? Yeah, right. It's, like you, it's don't, so, you, don't, you don't forget any settings like that for light, like uh, right. lockers or anything like that. And it still allows you to customize how you want to drive yeah. too, right? It, it locks you into some of them, but it will be able to turn those things on and off kind of in uh, whatever conditions that you need. Great. So, yep, we'll have you park next to this person here. It up. Try to get it a little bit closer than we can. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem.